Before beginning any antenna installation, carefully observe the instructions included with your equipment. Be sure there is no possibility that equipment or personnel can come in contact directly or indirectly with power lines. Use safe procedures when working at heights above ground. Make sure all towers and masts are securely grounded and electrical cables connected to antennas have lightning arresters. Elcom offers a variety of lightning arresters for antenna feed coax cables. Let's go over the parts list for a standard Hyperlink brand grid antenna. Parts include an antenna feed horn assembly, stainless steel U-bolts with nuts and lock washers, mass clamps, aluminum L bracket, machine screws with nuts and lock washers, and also the antenna reflector grid section halves. This two-piece grid is simpler to assemble and significantly reduces shipping costs. The grid surface is UV powder coated for durability and aesthetics, and the open frame design also minimizes wind loading. A socket wrench or adjustable wrench is all you need for this installation. Assemble the halves of the reflector grid. Here's a close-up showing how the tabs of the grid easily slide together. Secure the ends of the grid by using the supplied machine screws with nuts and lock washers. Noting the orientation required for the desired polarity, position the L bracket on the back of the grid assembly. Position the feed horn to the front of the grid assembly, again noting the orientation required for the desired polarity. Here's a close-up showing how the feed horn fits in the assembled grid. On the back side of the grid, use the supplied machine screws with nuts and lock washers. For the 5.8 GHz model, orientate the feed horn and the grid in this direction for vertical polarity. Note how the feed horn arrow runs parallel with the grid. For horizontal polarity, simply orientate the feed horn and the grid in this direction, again noting the feed horn arrow running parallel with the grid. The same orientation rules apply for the 2.4 GHz model, which uses a feed reflector attached to the feed horn. For vertical polarity, orientate the feed horn and grid in this direction, making sure the reflector is parallel with the grid. For horizontal polarity, simply orientate the feed horn and the grid in this direction, again making sure that the reflector is parallel with the antenna grid. When determining or changing the direction for vertical or horizontal polarity, the L bracket attached to the back of the grid will need to be adjusted accordingly. Install the two mast clamps between the L bracket and the mast, then slide the U-bolts through the bracket holes. Fasten with the supplied lock washers and nuts. Here's another angle showing how the U-bolts slide through the bracket holes. Complete the installation by connecting the appropriate coaxial cable to the back of the feed horn. Remember to apply weatherproof tape to the connector to ensure a watertight installation. The antenna is supplied with a 60-degree tilt-and-swivel mass mount kit which allows installation at various degrees of incline for easy alignment. They can be adjusted up or down from 0 degrees to 60 degrees. This option shows the antenna in the fixed tilt position where one U-bolt assembly is attached to a fixed position on the L bracket. This other option shows the antenna in the tilt slot position where one U-bolt assembly is attached to a slot position on the L bracket allowing the antenna to move freely. These antennas are ideal for point-to-point -point systems, point-to-multipoint, and wireless bridges. Elcom can custom manufacture antennas to allow for different connector types, so be sure to speak with an account representative for more information.